uh, go ahead and start, Barbara. Looks like uh, Bernard is there and our coach John is there. So great to see everyone uh, joining. Okay. Good to see it. Hey, Bernard. Can you hear me? Yeah, great to see you all. This is yeah, John. Thank you. All right, you're yeah, welcome. And thank you for joining us today. Hello, Bernard. Most welcome. I'll have my video up in a couple of seconds. Okay. All right. Hello, ladies. How's it going? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Very well, thank you. Nice to see you. I don't see you yet. I see the ladies, but yes, it's nice to have you. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Hi, Bernard. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm great. I'm doing great. Okay, welcome. Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's session. So, our coach is here already, and his name is John Oman. And, um, He's going to be taking us for today, and I trust that you pay attention because he's got a lot to share with us, and he's going to be, you know, talking based on his life experiences, and just um, put your heart to it and listen to everything he's got to share because trust me, it's going to, you know, it's going to do you a whole lot of good. It's going to help you manage your business. It's not just about you getting the money, but know how to manage your business. Today, we're going to be talking on marketing. And this simply, um, um, it's going to you know, throw more light on how you can market your products, how you can present your products or service, whatever service or products you have for your customers, your clients, whatever it is you're offering in the marketplace, John is going to be telling us how to market it. So John, thank you once again for joining us and um, you may take the stage. Thank you so much. Um, really appreciate the opportunity to be here. Like I always say, every life um, and every story is important. And we are only privileged to be part of your story. So you are the superstar here. We are just um, privileged to be part of your story. Um, and hopefully your stories will be stories of success um, by God's grace. Um, just Bernard, you know, you always have to make sure that they understand what I've said. And if you need to interpret, stop me. Are you there? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if think, he needs uh, to interpret, um, he'll do that. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fantastic. So if you don't mind, I would like to start by getting a bit of feedback from our last conversation. I know that at least two out of the ladies here were in the last conversation. Um, were they able to try to practice what we talked about? And do we have any feedback? So, um, I remember, I remember, yeah, two, two of us, two of us here were at the last conversation, right? <laughs> they are green. Were they able to practice anything at all? And no matter how little, it's fine. The feedback helps me to know that we're not just dumping information. You know, we're also 
making a difference in a sense. So Bernard, are they able to give me I'm a feedback? Just, I'm just trying to go back to exactly what topic we were looking at. That's so we were talking about, um, I can't remember the topic exactly, but we talked about them getting um, potential other spots to put their goods. So as they got money, they're able to buy more. They should display on another street where they have a family member or somebody that they can trust. Um, give that person a bit of a commission. I think we're talking about uh, collaboration. Yeah, collaboration. that was the topic. Yeah. You remember now? And, I, and, and I, as long as you guys have me on, this is what I will always do. So we can just make it a point of duty to always have a quick refresher before we get into something new. Yeah, yeah I think be, that'll be good. That'll be good, yes. So, have they been able to to practice collaboration at all? This is one I'm trying to find out. So. Okay, take your time. So they they ex they agree. Like I remember one of the things that you had mentioned was that they can collaborate with maybe a family member or a child uh, who is living in a different location, and they are saying that they they have started to practice that. Okay. Are they are they seeing any positive improvements? Are they making more sales? Any what's the effect of trying that? So um so Anibio says that um, there's a different like uh so she has a sister who stays in a different location. Uh, it's called Livingston. So what she's decided to do is uh, part of her implementing the concept of collaboration. She's decided to be sending some of her goods to her sister who stays in a different location. And the sales have really improved because uh, she has discovered a whole new market base there in Livingston. And she sends her products there. And now she's able to cover more, more, more base. So, so is, is she the only one that has been able to implement that? Other people have not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So even uh, Mafuizo here is uh, saying that she has started implementing that, and one the other thing she's doing also is that she's she's building more like a a shop of some kind, but it is not made out of bricks. It's uh, She's just putting up a small structure where she'll be advertising her products from and selling them. Fantastic. Uh, has anybody encountered any challenges? Any reason why they cannot do it? So, partnership.
So, uh, uh, they are saying that they haven't, they haven't had any challenges right now. Uh, since they started implementing the idea of partnership, they haven't had any challenges, but they are they are, they are aware of the challenges that might arise, uh, and we are thinking cautiously on those. Okay, I think it's important that we don't just dump information on, on them. We help walk them through the process. Anything that is new would always have its challenges. And it's good for us to see how we can mitigate those challenges, especially when it's still early. Because what I realized from my entrepreneurial um, sojourn is that when entrepreneurs sometimes face a challenge and it's not tackled immediately, then they drop off that thing and then they easily revert to their old ways right um and we don't want that to be the case um we don't want them to face difficulty they can't find a way mm, they just leave it and nobody's asking anyway so there's no real incentive to push through there's typically in entrepreneurship in business there's typically a tough period that you have to push through and after you push through, then things become easier. Um, there, there's a concept called the tipping point. I might not get into that today, but um, I think it's important. Um, for me also, I personally like to measure my impact. So if I'm working with them, I like to be able to know that what I'm doing is impactful. Um, if it's not impactful, then it becomes, you know, for lack of a better word, a waste of my time. Um, so without, of course, sounding, um, I say that with every sense of respect and humility, um, I think it's important that we are able to track the progress made from the meetings we're having. So if you don't mind, you know, I would, I would humbly ask that you maybe have some sort of like a notebook, simple notebook. We know the ladies who attend, you know, my sessions um you just write you know very simple this is what we did this is what we learned this is what we gained this is the challenge we got and anything that we like to address i think it's important that we um if we if we yes exactly so maybe our next session um what i would like is we, we greet we of course normal pleasantries and the next thing is just what we discussed last week this is what we've done this is what we've got this is what we've done. This is the challenge we encountered. How can we go about it? We talk about that. Um, and then these are the successes we had, if we had any successes. And any other thing that comes up. So that's how we'll be addressing it before we get into the next topic. Um, so it, I would request, if you don't mind, that for our next session, we will do this for session one and session two. But let me get into session two now. Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Fantastic. So I think we have agreed on that. So for session two, we're supposed to be talking about marketing. Um, and, you know, I, I try to think around the most easy way to explain marketing in, you know, the basic way that can be easily understood. Marketing is basically how... Can, eh? The volume is low. You're too fast. You're too I'm fast. too fast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So today we'll be talking about marketing. Right? And the simplest, easiest way to explain marketing is how you get your customer to know about you. That's what marketing is. Um, in and the difference between marketing and sales is that with sales you you are going to talk to people and sales is limited to how many people you can talk to so for example if you can talk to 10 people in a day that's all but marketing speaks for you when you are not there 
So an example of marketing is a signboard. If you put a sign that says the freshest bananas are, are here. Even, even when you're sleeping, anybody who passes and reads that sign. And that's the, that, that's the difference. That's, that's where marketing is special. Now, there are many forms of marketing. Um, there are companies who spend billions of dollars Dollars, oh, not quarter, dollars on marketing. <laughs> but does it mean that because those companies spend billions of dollars, you cannot do marketing? No. Every company can do their marketing at the level they are. Mm -hmm. And you continue to grow. So today I want to talk about the first and most important, in my opinion, once again, I'm not an authority and I'm not God. I'm just one individual and I will teach you based on my experience. Mm -hmm. Another person can come and give you a different experience. Please take it too. And if another person comes, give you another one, take all. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Don't say, the, John says it's only this one, so it's only this one we'll take, no. But the one that I consider most important is what they call referral, word of mouth from your existing customers. So if I bought from you and somebody asked me about my experience buying from you, what I say would determine if that person will buy from you too. If I say, ah, that one, hmm. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. I just did. Mm. Yeah. That person will just go. Yeah. Now we don't even want to find out what that mm, means. Yeah. Right? Yes. But if your customer buys from you and is so excited, I, I don't know. Are you, you, you're all Christians. You know what we call testimony? You, do you do testimony in your church? Yes. Testimony time. Uh -huh. Yes. If your customer shares testimony about you, that is the most effective form of marketing, especially at the level you are. So my question is, for what you do today, for what you sell, I know one of us here does hair and salon, right? Am I correct? Somebody, yeah. we sell, sell hair, we do salon, somebody else sells uh, provisions, right? Uh, Bernard, help me out. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. The question is, what can we do to make sure that everybody we sell to brings another person back? That's a question to them? Yes. Uh, and I want them to not answer in a hurry, but to, to be thinking about think it. it. <laughs> so, what can you do to make sure that after somebody buys from you your service of hair, or your provisions, or your cooking utensils, pots, plates, cups. They are so happy that they cannot wait to tell their sister, their cousin, their brother, their friend that, ah, I enjoyed this experience so much. I need you to come and enjoy it too. Do you understand? Yes. yes. That's what I want us to think about. And I'll ask for answers at, towards the end of the class. At least one or two. No pressure, <laughs> but at least one or two answers. Um, the other thing. Okay, okay. Speak up, speak up. Let me hear. I like that there's already some feedback. Speak up. No, we are just... No, let's continue the answer. We are just talking about the, the possible responses. Okay. 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 
Um, just give me one second. I have a little thing to. Mm -hmm. Which card now? <laughs> the red card is the construct card. Is in the <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm working from home today. I'm back in Nigeria, by the way. So I'm with my oh. family. Yes, I'm in Nigeria okay. right now. Uh, ah, that's good. I, have, I hadn't seen my family for about seven months. Oh, mm. so you, you're from yeah, Nigeria? Still, I'm Nigerian, <laughs> yes. But I, I live in the US. I could tell, I could tell from your, your accent. My accent, right? Yes. Yeah, and your body language. I could read you. <laughs> ah, you have, we have to yes. talk about that a bit more. <laughs> I want to so understand much. how the Nigerian body language is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I think the other thing I want to talk about for the ladies today is what I call or what we call a referral program. Right? I will talk about three things. The first thing is getting people to experience you in such a way that they are in a hurry to bring somebody else to experience you. The second thing is now formalizing that experience by creating what I call a referral program. A referral program is you giving them an incentive to call somebody. An incentive is, hmm, what's the word for that? Giving them, it's almost like, almost like paying them to bring somebody. So for example, mm -hmm. If I sell milk and I sell milk for 10 kwacha, right? Yeah. But I say, you know what? If you bring somebody to buy that milk after you have bought your own, if you bring your sister to buy, I will give your sister for eight kwacha, right? Yeah. Or nine kwacha. And out of that nine quarter, I'll give you one quarter. So I will that in, in essence, I've sold the second tin of milk for eight quarter. I've given your sister one off. I've given you one off. And it might not be one, it might be half. You know, you can walk around the math with them, Bernard, so that of course you're not selling at a loss because I'm not I'm not advocating yeah. for you to sell at a loss, right? I'm just yeah. using figures. You, you will know better what the economics are. But to create a referral program where you say, for anybody who brings another person, they get something. Now, imagine if I said that one quarter, I will not give you, but we will have one piece of paper or one board where we are signing it one, 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 one. Now, when I give you one quarter times 10 times and it becomes 10 quarter, then I'll give you a yeah. tin of milk, which is 10 kwacha. <laughs> now, for, now for free. But really, you have paid for it by bringing 10 people. Yeah. So it's free to you in a sense because you didn't bring out money from your pocket, but it's not really free. Mm -hmm. What it has done is that Anybody they hear talking about buying milk, they will just remember, ah, I can make one quarter, buy it from here. Mm -hmm. Do we understand? Yes. So two things we've talked about. One, an experience. Such a great experience that you experience it and you want everybody else to experience it. You give that to your customers. Two, you structure that by now creating a referral program. And I cannot create that for you because I don't understand all the economics of your business. But I know Bernard can work with you to create it, right? It may be yeah. one kwacha. It may be that, you know what? You have something that you produce, you know? And you can bring that thing, you produce it with your hand so it doesn't cost you too much. It costs you just your time, right? You produce that thing and you say, for everybody you bring, we'll give you one free of this thing. 
you know, or you sell Coke, but you say if you bring somebody to buy Coke, they will get free ice with the Coke. You know, mm -hmm. you, 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 there, there are a lot of creative ways. And if you want me on a session to discuss in further detail, we can potentially do that. Um, we can't do that on this call. But like I said, the first thing is that experience. The second thing is a referral program. Um, most times at the level that we are, you know, people like free things at every level, actually. <laughs> people That's like true. free things. So when they know that ah, I can get something free from this place, they become more susceptible or they become, they want to deal with you more. So creating that referral program, right? Yes. The third thing will be, how else can we put the word out about what we do? And this is in two folds. The first fold of this, so let's just call it 3A. 3A is crafting the right message. Remember when I said the freshest bananas are sold here, everybody smiled. Because I said freshest. So already you're interested in hearing, okay. So the first fold, which is 3A, is crafting the right message for your business. And Bernard, I'm happy to work with them. I know you are also happy to work with them. I'm sure Barbara is also happy to work with them. Yeah. What do they do? And how can we craft a short, very short, oh, if it's too long, it becomes work. Nobody wants to read that. Very short message that makes your business attractive. Then the B part, 3B, is how can we put that message out? So we have crafted this message. We're now putting it out for people to see it. One can be that signboard we talked about. Once again, I can't do it for you because I don't know your local laws. If you are allowed to put a signboard, if the government will come for you because you put a signboard, I don't know. And I'm sure Bernard can work with you on that. But Bernard, we're looking for solutions that are free for now. Yeah. We're not trying to give them solutions they have to go and pay for. Mm -hmm. Something they can creatively craft. Imagine if you had your child do a signboard and at the end of that sign you wrote done by my four year old child <laughs> anybody who sees that will stop the first thing they say you mean a four year old did this they start talking before they leave you will sell one milk or one biscuit or one, whatever it is that you sell. But that fact that a four-year-old child wrote this will stop them first to check. Right? That's just an example. Um, there are many examples. In some states, cities, countries, where they allow on certain walls, people can paint with colors. You can paint your, you can paint your this thing on, on a wall that is in, on a busy street. Like I said, I don't know your, your laws and your government, so I can't really, you know, say if that is allowed or not. But there are places where it's done. Right? Yes. Another yes. way we can send that message out is we can create a small budget. I don't know what your cost of sending text messages are in your country, but mm -hmm. we can create a small message where we send text message to all the contacts on our phone if it's free. In the U.S., Text messages are free. I don't know if it's free um, in Zambia. Um, if it's not They're free, free, what do you say? They are almost free. They are, they are quite cheap. Oh, uh -huh. So it's cheap. Uh -huh. So we agree that every Monday and every Thursday, we send one message. They say out of sight is out of what? You know. Mind. They say out of sight is out of mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, so you, and you want your customers to always, your mind, your, mind. Your, you want to always be in the mind of your customer. So that text message where you send them and you say, good morning, God bless you today. But on your way back from work, please stop here and buy a bottle of Coke. So you, you, you they remember you, 
You even bless them, they're happy. Then you remind them, the freshest bananas are still here waiting for you. Come and take them. <laughs> right? Yeah. Those will be three ways I think we can push out our brand. They are, like I said, they're complex forms of marketing. We can get into Facebook and that, advertising, billboards, plenty. But what are practical things that at our level we can do and we can see quick results? Three of which I've said today. One, make sure from today anybody, in fact, let, let's put it like this. If any of your customer leaves your shop and is not smiling, you have failed. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And you know them better than me, so you know what will make them smile. I, I can't tell you that. Yeah. So you have to think. The, you, know, you know what makes an entrepreneur? Thinking. Yeah. That's all. So, so, and nobody can think for you. You have to think. Say, ah, what will I do to make this person smile? Maybe there are some companies in the US when you enter their, 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 their shop, they will sing for you. They sing. Oh, we are happy to see you. Welcome. You know, you're already smiling. Just thinking about it. All of you are already smiling. That's it. Somebody thought about that. So you have to think of your own. Now, what will I do? So like I said, leaving every customer smiling. They're smiling so hard. They, you know, do you guys have... Uh, do you watch like videos? Do you have WhatsApp? Do you send yourself videos on WhatsApp? Yeah. Have you ever watched a funny video before? Very funny. You laugh, 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 laugh. Have you watched a funny video before? Yes. yes. What's the next thing you do after watching that video? <laughs> say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Don't laugh, say it. <laughs> you what? You start laughing. What did she say? She's laughing. saying that you yes, start laughing. Now. Yes, after you laugh, what's the next thing you do? There's something. You share it. Oh, don't say. I didn't, Barbara. I didn't want to be <laughs> 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 the next thing you do, you look for somebody to send it to. In the family WhatsApp group. <laughs> if you send it to your WhatsApp group. Because guess what? Laughter is best when it's shared. You don't want to mm -hmm. laugh alone. You want somebody else to laugh the way you just laughed. And that's what we want our customers to do when they leave us. When they, they enjoy it so much, they quickly think, who can I send this thing to? You find out that their whole, their, their whole family will become your customer. Yeah. Their whole friends, their whole anybody they have, they will bring. So that's the first one. The second one is that when this is now working, we now want to make it a structure. We want to make it something that works. We would have thought about it. And please, it takes a couple of days in fact, if you think about a referral program, I would like you to share it with me to vet it with you. Eh? So don't just do any one. Then you find out halfway that this thing you did, you can't sustain it. Then you now look okay. bad. That's even worse. Better you didn't do it than to start it. Then you now realize you can't continue. You now be as if you were lying. Right? So we must think about it properly. It's not something we'll just do tomorrow. We we'll think about it. What kind of referral program can we do? What can people get for bringing somebody? And something we can give sustainably. By sustainably, I mean we can continue to give it when people are increasing. Because the idea is, let's not forget, why are we here? We're here because this benevolent organization decided to step in to give you some money, right? Yes. Now they don't they, they there are some people who have given people money for business and those people failed with the money. Then they say, sure. ah, yesterday I gave her money, she failed. So next time I will not give money. I will not help anybody again. All the people I helped, they failed. This organization didn't do that. 
the to make sure that you don't fail they brought people like me again to work with you so that they will not say ah zambian women are bad we gave them money they failed no they want to help you to succeed to make sure that that money they gave you can be paid back they don't need you to pay it back but the paying back is really a proof that you succeeded yes it's not that they need the money. It's more for you. The paying back is for you. Because as you succeed, you can do more. You can pay more things. Right? And we want you to succeed. That's why we're here. Um, so let's not forget that, that that's the reason we're doing this. So everything we're doing must align with that reason. Must be to achieve that reason which is let this money we get multiply so that we can pay back one, so that we can have more, two. Yeah. In fact, I will put number two as number one. Don't tell them, oh, let us have more. <laughs> First, then number two will pay back, right? So we've talked about three things once again. The first one is leaving people smiling, making sure they come back. The second one is the referral. The third one is now, how can we put a message that continues to speak for us even when we are sleeping? And we said, possibilities include doing a sign that you can put somewhere so that you are not there, but that sign is speaking for you. Two, we said sending out, okay, we said we actually started by coining the message because that sign is a message now. You have to have a message. So we said we have to coin a good message. And I said, I'm happy to review the messages. I know Barbara will be happy to. And I know, of course, Bernard will work with you on that. Then the second thing we now said, putting the message out there, either on a signboard, a signpost, a wall, you know, um, on WhatsApp groups. So now you need to know everybody's WhatsApp group and you need to enter as many WhatsApp groups as you can. So that you, you know, every WhatsApp group is 50 people, 40 people, 60 people, 100 people, 20. All those are your potential customers. So you need to join as many WhatsApp. As a business person, you join WhatsApp groups. Even though you don't like it, you know, you have one hour in the day. Maybe you don't read it all the time, but you select one hour in the day where you go and read it. You comment on some other people you talk because some people join WhatsApp group, they don't talk. Then the day they need something, nobody will answer them too. So I'm in WhatsApp groups, by the way. You know, everything I teach you is my experience. My company recently raised a little over $400,000 in investments. And a huge chunk of that money was raised. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay to clap. It's not a small thing. It's not easy. So yes, I agree with you for clapping. Um, but a huge chunk of that was raised through networks that I belong to. And a lot of them are WhatsApp groups. So when I go there, I interact with other people. When they post, today somebody said, oh, fill this form. I filled it quickly and I posted it there. I, I filled your form. Then I dropped a compliment. I said, ah, I really like some of the things I saw there. So he knows I interacted with it. He sees that I care for him. Tomorrow, when I post my own, he's going to feel obliged to answer me. That's true. I know obliged might be a big word, but I think they get what I'm saying, right? Yes. So it's not just, oh, the day you want something, you appear, you ask for something, then you go. You also have to consciously be that person you want other people to be for you, you to be it for somebody else. Do you know that in this group, you are five that I see. When you coin that message, five of you can agree that you will post each other's messages. Mm -hmm. So when you post for her, she will post for you. Abby? Yes. Yes. So you have access to her contacts, she has access to yours. When you post for her, she will post for you. If all of you post for each other, all of you have, let's just assume that each of you has 20, 20 customers. Mm -hmm. 
as you, as you mean, right? That means all of you now have 100. Because you have your 20, you now have her 20, her 20, her 20, her 20. She has your, her 20 plus all your 20. So instead of having 20 alone, just because you supported her and supported all of them, you now have all their 20, 20, 20. That 20 becomes, that 520 becomes 100. <laughs> you get it? Yes. So let's agree that we would use that channel. Um, like I said, either is signboard. Text messages to our 2020 customers is more than 20. I'm just saying 20. And we would join all possible WhatsApp groups. We will interact there. We will, not the day one we enter, we start posting and asking for people to buy. We'll enter, we interact, we hear other people, we clap for people that did well, we praise other people, we show genuine concern for other people. By the time we have crafted our message, we like our message, then we also start to post our messages there. Is that okay? Yes. You know me, I'm, I'm Mr. Simple. I don't believe in teaching you 100 things. If you can learn one and practice it and use it. Yes, I like simple. I like simple. Simple is always better. Yeah. No, 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 no. Simple. Simple. If you practice this small, simple one we did, you get results with it. The next one, before I tell you, Seth, you will know it. Because knowledge begets knowledge. Knowledge grows knowledge. As you know more, the more you are able to know. So if you do this small one, you would you will feel good. You know, there's a feeling when you succeed. It's a good, good feeling. You will think the next one. So I, I, I would like to end the lesson as it were here today. Let us instead think about it. Use the, if there's any extra time. I think we have about 14 minutes. Let's use 14 minutes to think about it. Share some ideas here from everything I've said. Which one do you like that hits you? That you say, oh, this one I can do it. Share it. You know? And then let's all benefit from those ideas. And then I will rely on Barbara and Bernard to make sure that we're implementing these things. And that by our next session, you can show me what we have tried. And it's okay if you fail. If you try it, you fail. No problem. You try again. Try another one. You know, failure is not bad. A lot of people, you go to church, you are praying that this year I will not fail. Why? <laughs> failure is a good thing. <laughs> you learn your best lessons from failure. What, in fact, what, what, uh, Hmm, I have to be careful. What our, in Nigeria, we call them Uimbo. Uimbo is the white man. Hmm? Mm -hmm. The white man doesn't call failure failure. He calls it experiment. Mm. And he does it all the time. That's why they are good. The way, that's why we are running to America, running to this place. Because they experiment a lot. So they learn a lot. And they mm. implement what they experiment that works. Yeah. That's why their country looks better than our own. So we we are afraid of it. Ah, if I do it, it does not work. Ah, how would they say it? Ah, they will say I don't have sense. No, there's nothing like that. It's an experiment. You learn from it, you move on. All you are all mothers, right? You have children. Yeah. Uh, the first child is normally the hardest one because that's the one you used to learn. By the time you have three, four, you can be bathing them, you will be on the phone, self cooking and still bathing them because you have done it so much, you know how to do it. But the first one, you'll be doing like this <laughs> because, because it's, it's new. Yeah. The third one, you're just the buffer, you go take call. You go still beat the other one for this behavior. <laughs> At the same time, you are doing all, you know. Yeah. So, and that that that's what practice does, yeah. you know. 
um, well, you didn't fail. You just practiced. You experimented and you learned. Okay. So if, if you get this, my job for today is done. Um, thank you so much for having me. I'm always happy to be here. Thank you. Very thank much. you so much. Thank yeah. you, Jaren. Yeah. It's been an exciting and insightful um, session. And um, Bernard, we've ha we have a lot of work to do now because he has opened another angle. It's not just to learn. We need to follow them up. Okay. Yes. And um, I'm, I've helped a lot of um, startups, you know, implement, develop, and rebrand their businesses. When it comes to branding, you can call me an expert. And why I love branding, because when you're not there, what speaks for you? Branding and marketing works hand in hand. When you're not in your shop, when at the close of the day, your business should keep speaking for you. Okay? And so has shared a lot of things. These are things people pay for to learn. Yes. John has brought this to you. And so don't just say, okay, maybe they are just teaching us because they want us to attend this meeting so that we can get the money. Mm -mm. Do it, take it from me. I'm a mom like you. I'm a business person like you. I'm talking from my own experience. Okay, I'm not doing motivational speech here. I'm talking sure. to you like a fellow, a fellow woman. Okay, I, I multitask a lot. When I'm done with this session, I have something else to do for, for the organization. When I'm done, I have something else to do for the family. But I can bet you that there is no day I don't get the message that Barbara, oh, hi, I heard you help people do this. Oh, I help you. Help. Can, you can you be of service to me? Oh, I need a flyer. Can you design for me? So when you're not there, what is speaking for you? That is just what um, um, John is teaching us today. With your budget, don't, don't, don't put your eyes on the big things out there that someone else is doing. I always tell people personalize your brand because you can, you can represent you better when you personalize it. Make, make it be like you, from let it come from the inside. Okay, so we are going to make sure that we do some sort of revision. I'm only I'm already taking down the notes. I was typing as he was speaking. So when I'm done, I would forward it to um, Adam and maybe Adam can share with you, Mr. George, and then share with Bernard to look through if you want to add anything so that we hand over everything to Bernard. He sees them more than we do. We see them just two times a week. And so maybe he can just organize a small meeting in the evening, okay? Organize a small meeting in the evening and say, okay, how are you doing this? What's, what are you implementing right now? And then you don't need to spend so much, okay? Learn to talk about other people's businesses. When you talk about other people's businesses, people will talk about your own. Well, it, it, no, his, um, uh, John said that marketing is a review is a testimony. So thank you very much, um, John and Bernard, over to you. Um, do the women have anything they would like to share with us? More questions. Do they have any question or anything they would like to share? I, I would like to hear, I know that they must have thought of one thing, everybody, just yeah. one. One thing you yeah. thought of as I was talking that you can do, just tell us. Everybody, just one. So, Mother is what I need to do. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, one is fine. Uh, Go ahead. So, she says that uh, you've just rekindled an idea that she she had practiced some years back. So, what she 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 runs a, a, a saloon, mm -hmm. a hair saloon, she's a hairdresser. So, what she was doing in the old days was she had, uh, as part of her marketing strategy, she had a plan where she would 
if the if a customer comes five times in a month oh. Oh. so when she comes five times uh consecutively to to a to a saloon the sixth time she will do uh, what is called steaming of the hair for free so that is one of the so she set a day which was a monday aside which was doing those free steaming for those that had reached five times um there must be a reason why it stopped but we won't get into that for now like i said bernard what the, the referral programs they will do going forward we will vet them to make sure they are sustainable before they begin before they begin but fantastic thank you so much let me hear another person if everybody can just give us one quickly i think we have five more minutes no somebody else oh not the same person okay as long as you Okay. So, for, for Annabelle here, she says that she, what her, her strategy, her marketing strategy is uh, she does a dis some discounts. So, when someone buys a, maybe a lot of clothes from her, she discounts the price. So, as to yeah. encourage them. I, I think my question is slightly different from what just what they've done before to. Uh -huh. If any ideas came to mind as we were speaking, can you clarify? Oh, to them? yes. Any idea so that everybody doesn't start telling us what they've done before? Mm. But any idea that came as we were talking, something, oh, I want to try this. It might not work, but it's an idea. Any? So, not the but the is there something? Barbara, are you Zambian as well? No, I'm Nigerian. Oh, <laughs> are, you, are you in Nigeria? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> So the so because of the because of the different natures of businesses they have, they are coming up with uh, very interesting ideas. So, like for example, uh, uh, who runs a, a hair saloon? Because she's stationed in one place, she has a shop. So for her, it's easy to use the idea of a big poster. So she's thinking of a message that she can post on that poster, which can bring in more attention to, to the buyers. And then Fantastic. for uh, Annabelle, like she, she does a business from, from home. She's, she's hoping to move into a a certain location where she'll be able to do it from her shop but for now her business is uh she does it from home so it's kind of difficult for her to use that method so she says the idea of using text messages and joining a lot of whatsapp groups i think that one would work out very well. with her. okay the similar thing with uh uh petronella here oh, oh, i want to hear her please make her speak what 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 crossed your mind <laughs> All right. Well, so for for Petronella, she says for Petronella, she says that uh, because she sells vegetables, 
I think the idea of putting a poster which says fresh, new, <laughs> clean, washed vegetables <laughs> would work out, <laughs> work out best for her. Yeah. So she's looking into making a huge poster which is visible so that it is easy for, for the people to know that, okay, this is a product which she sells. There's one thing I didn't say in my message is that the not not marketing is bad. If you have a business and you're not you're not marketing it, whether through advertising, through posters, through referral, through all the things we've discussed, is very bad if you have a business and you're not marketing it because you're not giving the business an opportunity to grow. Well, guess what? Guess what? Yeah. There's something worse than that. Which is, which is if you say that you are doing something and you are not doing it, then people find out you are a liar. <laughs> so what? What? It is better you didn't say anything than you told a lie. They will not believe anything from you again. So I just have to remind you that. So when you are writing that your poster that is fresh and is washed and is clean, make sure you have to make sure it's fresh. You have to wash hey, it. Clean. Sure. Surrounding those of clean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So are we going to hear from the last two ladies? No, nobody can hide. There's no back seat here. We can see everybody. <laughs> <laughs> anything that crossed your mind is hey, no, there's no wrong answer anything that crossed your mind as we spoke they didn't get anything it's okay just tell me so, as it is so like for for Mafuizo, she because she sells uh, plastic cups and plates, dishes, uh, buckets. So the way she runs the business is that she moves door to door. So she she's thinking of a way she can strategize in terms of the referral program, because when okay. she goes to visit one one house, she has to make sure that maybe. Uh, the next customer comes from a referral from the person that she visited. So she's, she's, she doesn't have like a fully fabulous idea, but she's thinking of a way that she can make use of the referral program. And we will ha we'll happily work with her on that. By we, I mean you, myself, and Barbara. Okay. So let's hear from the last person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for for Esnat, for Esnat, she says that. Uh, she will use posters because she sells some groceries. So she has a mini grocery store at the house. So she, because the, like she doesn't move around. Uh, so she just is stationed in one place. She will just, she'll make use of a huge advertisement poster. So she's planning to, to, to make one big poster and then advertise our products using that. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so much. So let's remember, we're going to make sure we try to implement what we talked about on the first day in terms of collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, 
if we only do that and we don't start with marketing, I will not be upset. I will be okay with that. I believe in line upon line, precept upon precept, the Bible says so. <laughs> um, but if we're also able to include some aspect of the marketing, even better. I also mm -hmm. encourage that. Um, so our next class or our next session, we would use the first 15 minutes. I would like you to structure it. But I like the idea that the women speak. Mm -hmm. Even if they speak a language I don't understand and you interpret. There's something about when you talk about something, it, it, it institutes for you. Mm -hmm. If Bernard only speaks for you, you get half of the value. You get the full value when you speak it yourself out of your own mouth. No. That's why God said, let us. You can think it and not say it, but oh, he said yeah. it. You understand? You, you so, understand. yeah. So <laughs> from the next class, I'll hear you speak. You can't speak English, no problem. Speak your language. Bernard will <laughs> interpret what you are saying, not say what oh, he's thinking. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll do it next time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm five minutes over my time. Have a great rest of your day. Barbara, Barbara, connect yeah. with me now. Send me an email. Yeah. Let's connect. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, thank everyone. Thank you so much, John. Bernard, yeah, thank bye. you so much. Bernard, this yeah. thing that you do, right? Mm. Yes. Um, the Bible talks about, you know, people who stand in the gap for people who cannot stand in the gap for themselves. What yeah. you do is, and I'm not very religious, but I believe in the principles of God. Mm -hmm. What you do is very powerful. Um, Thank you very much. Being that bridge between people who cannot do something for themselves, what regardless of what it is. Um, and, I, and, I, and I will tell you that it's, it attracts a blessing. So yeah. thank you so much. Continue to do it, but also, Look out for the blessing, it's there. You'll find it. Thank you. Your <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone. Yes. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.